welcome to more e-training with Presto Music. This is lesson two. I'm David Jones with my right hand man, Mr. Christopher Morris. Hello! On camera. Okay, uh, in this lesson we are talking about intervals. Intervals are the distances between the notes. In the previous lesson, in lesson number one, uh, we talked about five notes of a scale. But what happens if the tune that you're trying to work out doesn't use a scale. What happens if instead of going straight from one note of the scale to the very very next note of the scale, what happens if the tune skips a note and goes say for example from the first note straight to the third. If you have a listen to that, here's me jumping from the first note to which note of the scale. We need to try and be able to work that out. And that's what this lesson's all about. Uh, we're going to start helping you with those intervals, those jumps, those distances between the notes. Uh, we mentioned in the last lesson about Sam Smith, uh, Stay With Me. If you think about the chorus, the very first part of the chorus. That very first bit of when he sings, Oh Won't You. So that first part, Oh Won't. Beautiful singing there from James. So when we go, oh won't, you're going from the first note to the third note of the scale. How do we know that? Well, this exercise that we're about to do will help you with this. What I want you to do is sing that little tune in your head. I'm playing from the first note to the second note of the scale and back down to the first. So I want you to sing one, two, one. Let's try that again. Uh, do it on your own. Again, one, two, one. Now let's go up to the third note of the scale. One, two, three, two, one. Try that again. Now let's go up to the fourth. So we'd be singing one, two, three, four, three, two, one. You try it. Let's just back it down a little bit. Let's just do one, two, one again. Now one, two, three, two, one. Now one, two, three, four, and back down. And now all the way up to five. So this exercise is helping you now to piece in your mind what these notes will sound like as you go up the scale. Okay, so let's get going with some of these intervals. The first thing you need to be able to do is you need to find one note, okay? Let's say, for example, that I'm trying to get you to find this note. Where, where, where is that note, okay? So if you're at your piano or your guitar or something and you play a note, uh, let's say you play this one, okay? This one sounds really, really high. This, this was far too high, much higher than the note that we're trying to find. High in pitch, so you've got high notes and low notes. Low, low notes. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the note that I'm playing here. So if the note that you're finding or you're rooting around trying to find it, we're fishing for notes, we're fishing for notes, and I'm coming down and down. I've now found the note that we're trying to base everything on. So Job number one, you've got to be able to fix your mind and your ear on one particular note. Now, let's say we're trying to now work out this note. Can you hear how the music has stepped up from the first note of the scale to, as it turns out, the second note of the scale? We call that the interval of a second because I'm going from the first note of the scale to the second. So, how about this interval? Well, what we'll do is we'll sing the scale from the bottom note and stop when we get to this note, the one we're trying to work out. So we'll start there. One, two, that's the note that we were trying to find there. One, two, three. So we call that the interval of a third. How about this one? Well, one, two, three, four. Can you see how I'm trying to stop when I get to the note that I've just heard? Let's do that again a little bit slower. Uh, this is the interval that I want you to work out. What is the distance between those two notes? I'm singing from there to there, and therefore I've got to sing the scale one, two, three, four of the bottom. 
bottom note. How about this one? So I'm going to work out what that interval is. How far apart are those notes? The way we do it is singing the scale of the bottom note. Those are the two notes that I'm trying to work out the interval between. So I sing one, two, three, four, five, and I stop when I get to the note that I'm trying to work out. Okay, let's go into the intervals themselves. Have a listen to this. So if that was the first uh, little part of the chorus to Won't well, You Stay With Me, Mr. Sam Smith, um, that's the first interval in the chorus. And if you didn't know what that was, one, two, three, what you do is you sing up your scale, the five notes that we're using just for now, until you get to the note that you hear. When you hear that as a sound, start on the bottom note, one, two, three, and you stop when you get to the note that you're trying to work out. So here you can uh, hear that I'm going from the first note to the third note. So let's have a couple of exercises on this, okay? How about if it was this? So that's what we can hear in the song, wherever we're up to in whatever song you're trying to work out. That's what we can hear, let's try and work it out. So all you're gonna do is sing the scale of the bottom note. One, two, three, four, that was the note that we heard. So what you've gotta do is fix your ear, if you like, you're gonna fix your ear on that note that you're trying to work out. Start on the bottom note of the scale, one, two, three, four. And there we have what we call the interval of a fourth because you're going from the first note of the scale up to the fourth note. Now, some of you might be thinking, these songs, I can, I'm listening to these songs and there's no scales in them. You don't actually hear somebody play that scale. Uh, what we're doing is we're building together some exercises to help you to work them out, okay? So you won't actually hear Sam Smith singing these scales in the background there. What is going to happen is you're slowly beginning to piece together an understanding of what's going on in the background. So we'll do all the exercises first, okay? And then we'll work them out more in context of the pieces themselves. Okay, how about this? So, we're trying to work out what that interval is. One, two, three, four, five. I heard that interval. I sing from the bottom note of the scale in steps. One, two, three, four, five, until I get to the note that I'm after. Finally, let's get a little bit of this into practice. If you think again of those uh, opening notes of Stay With Me by Sam Smith, if you were trying to work those out, what you're interested in is finding that first note and then finding the next one and then finding the next one. Hopefully you can hear that the whole thing is going from one note up and then up again. That's also oh, won't you stay with me, that's the chorus section of course. If you were trying to work those out, that's the first interval, that's the first jump. One, two, three, and then it goes, so from the first to the third, and then up again. So where is that? Well, fixing our ear, our mind on that note. We start again on the first bottom note. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going from uh, the first note to the third to the fifth. And then it goes up. Where? Well, hopefully you can uh, have a little listen to that and try and work that out. It actually goes up to the sixth if you haven't worked it out already. Sixth. Yes, there are more notes. We will be looking at those in future lessons. Please do like and subscribe, of course. Uh, share the good news with the world. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in future music videos with Presto Ear Training.